Until now, the Western powers had assumed that they had eliminated Islam as a political factor from the stage of history altogether. The Ummah had been divided up into small sovereign states, each representing its national interest. These so-called Islamic states, individually or collectively, did not represent the political power of Islam. The Ali Saud are a chief instrument of the West in their attempt to reduce Islam to a set of mere rituals. At this point, we must realize that the current conflict over the role of the Hajj and the conduct of the Hujjaj in the Haraman is in fact a conflict between Islam and the Western civilization. The West has a certain view of religions, including Islam. For almost a hundred years, the Saudi rulers have acted as agents of the West. In the first phase, the Saudis helped to break up the Usmania Khilafah, and after acquiring control over the Haraman in 1924, the Saudis have begun to turn the area into a kind of Islamic Vatican and the Hajj into a kind of a spiritual picnic. In the conflict over the future of the Haraman, we are in fact engaged in a conflict with the Western civilization as a whole. The Saudis and all the Muslim regimes that support the Saudi view are agents of the West. I would go so far as to assert that this conflict over Mecca is the epicenter of a gathering storm of a global confrontation between Islam and the Western civilization. Let us welcome this, de this development because Mecca is not in Iran and the future of the Haraman cannot be labeled an Irani cause. The future of the Haraman is an issue that concerns all Muslims everywhere equally. It is an issue for the global Islamic movement itself. It is truly a global issue for the entire Ummah. It is an issue that should also help Iran to actualize its own global role and potential. It is an issue on which Iran needs a working relationship with the global Hezbollah movement. It is also an issue that will help the Hezbollah everywhere to emerge as a major force in all parts of the world. The Saudis and their American advisors have, by shooting at the Hujjaj in Mecca, given us a cause at the very heart and the root of Islam. On this issue, we must confront the Saudis and their agents and support with all our might and resources. The point that has to be understood clearly is that the solution to all our problems lies in the exercise of the political power of Islam. The place of political power is central and unquestionable. The Islamic State is an integral part of Islam. Islam indeed is incomplete without the Islamic State. Political power is as important to the culture and civilization of Islam as blood circulation is to a biological system. Without political power, the body of Islam is dead. None of the goals of Islam can be achieved without political power. This is what distinguishes Islam from other religions. Other religions can survive as subsystems of kufr. Islam cannot. <coughs> 